greeting for this morning comes to us from the book of Revelation, the very last book in the Bible, the 22nd chapter, 25th, first verse. The grace of the Lord Jesus be with all the saints. Amen. Amen. Today is All Saints Sunday, an important day in the life of the church. It has been part of the traditional church calendar for hundreds of years, dating back to the 4th century AD. It is a day when Christians reflect on the meaning of life and on the promise of eternal life. It is a day when believers in the Lord Jesus Christ express their gratitude to God for the many blessings that have been part of their lives of the faithful down through the centuries. All Saints Sunday is a day to give special thanks to our Heavenly Father for the gift of eternal life that His Son, Jesus Christ, brought into this world through His life on earth, His death on the cross, His resurrection from the grave, and His ascension into heaven. Today is All Saints Sunday. Today is All Saints Today, each of our Bible readings brings us an important message of hope. The prophet Isaiah proclaims, and he will destroy on this mountain the shroud that is cast over all peoples, the sheet that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever. Our psalm for today reminds us that everything is the Lord's. It reads, The earth is the Lord's and all that is in it, the world, and those who live in it. It also says that those who have clean hands and pure hearts, who do not lift up their souls to what is false, and who, who do not swear deceitfully, will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from the God of their salvation. Our second reading from Revelation brings us the vision of hope for the future. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more, and death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. And our gospel brings us the amazing story of the raising of Lazarus, the brother of Martha and Mary, all followers of Jesus. 
This well-known story is found only in the Gospel of John. It is also a story filled with hope. It points to the future. It shows faith in the midst of heartache and loss. And it also includes one of the seven I am sayings of Jesus. We can see that Martha had a well-grounded faith. She believed in God. She knew that with God all things are possible. She also believed in Jesus. When she saw Jesus, she said, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But even now, I know that God will give you whatever you ask of him. We can see that Martha had a well-grounded faith. She believed in God. She knew that with God all things are possible. 主啊, 你若早在这里, 我兄弟必不死, 但是就是现在, 我也知道, 你无论向神求什么, 神也必赐给你。” Martha also believed in the resurrection. Speaking about her brother, she said to Jesus, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus responded, I am the resurrection and the life. He said, those who believe in me, even though they die, will live. He then went on to say, and everyone who lives and believes in me will never die. Then he asked her, do you believe this? She said to him, yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Messiah, the Son of God, the one coming into the world. Martha, I'm sorry. No. Martha also believes in the Lord. He talks to his brother, he says, 我知道在末日复活的时候他必复活耶稣回答说复活在我生命也在我他说信我的人虽然死了也必复活他接着说凡活着信我的人必永远不死然后他问他你信这话吗马大说主啊是的我信你是基督是神的儿子就是 Martha shows us how important it is to have a strong faith in the Lord, to believe in God's promises, and to look to Jesus as a pioneer and perfecter of our faith. Martha reminds us that faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. And that even though we now only see in a mirror dimly, then we will see face to face. Even though we only know in part, then we will know fully, even as we have been fully known. Oh,OK,I'm、okay, we have been blessed to be fully known. The Lord knows everything about us. Nothing is hidden from God. Oh, the depths of his riches and wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgments and how inscrutable his ways, as it's written in Romans 11. How great are your works, O Lord. Your thoughts are very deep, in Psalm 92. O Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from far away. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. From Psalm 139. 
These verses from Psalms and Romans, along with many others in the Bible, remind us of the knowledge of God, the compassion of God, and the love of God for each and every one of us.他的判断何其难测他的踪迹何其难寻罗马书十一章耶和华你见察我认识我我坐下我起来你都晓得你从远处知道我的意念我行路我躺卧你都细察你也深知我一切所行的十篇一百三十九篇这些来自诗篇和罗马书的经文以及圣经中的许多其他的章节提醒我们神的知识神的怜悯以及神对我们每一个人的爱God has always loved us Even before we were born God loved us Even before we were formed God loved us. Even before the very foundation of the world, God knew about us. So we can rejoice in the words of the opening verses of Ephesians chapter 1. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places, just as he chose us in Christ before him in love. He has destined us for adoption as his children through Jesus Christ, according to the good pleasure of his will, to the praise of his glorious grace that he freely bestowed on us in the beloved. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace that he lavished on us. With all wisdom and insight, he has made known to us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure that he set forth in Christ as a plan for the fullness of time, to gather up all things in him, things in heaven, and things on earth. 上帝一直爱着我们, 愿颂赞归于我们主耶稣基督的父神使他的荣耀的恩典得着称赞要做所安排的在日期上满足的时候使天上地上一切所有的都在基督里面同归于一。Faith in Jesus Christ, which is a gift of the Holy Spirit, gives us the ability to trust and to believe in the Lord even though we have not seen Him. Faith in Jesus Christ enables us to rejoice in the Lord knowing that we are loved and all of our sins are forgiven. Faith in Jesus Christ gives us the ability to enjoy each phase of life, whether we are younger or older. 对耶稣基督的信心使圣灵的礼物使我们有能力信任和相信主尽管我们没有见到他对耶稣基督的信心使我们能够在主里喜欢知道我们被爱我们所有的罪都被赦免对耶稣基督的信心使我们有能力享受人生的每个阶段无论我们是年轻还是年老 
Each chapter of life has its blessings and its challenges. Most of us enjoy being young, but do not look forward to being older. Yet if we believe in the Lord, we know that all the years are going to be good, and that each day is going to be a blessing. 人生的每一章都有它的祝福和挑战。大多数人都喜欢年轻，不期待年老。然而，如果我们相信主，就知道所有的岁月都将是美好的，每一天都将是一种祝福。the following thoughts were written by Charles Spurgeon and is entitled, The Altar of Age. It quotes a verse from Zechariah, one of the 12 minor prophets, and that verse is, At evening time there shall be light. We often look forward with anxiety to the time of old age, forgetting that at evening time it shall be light. To many saints, old age is a choicest season in their lives. A warmer breeze fans a sailor's face as he nears the shores of immortality. Fewer waves ruffle his sea. Quiet reigns, deep, still, and solemn. For the altar of age, the fires of youth are gone, but the deepening flame of sincere feeling remains. The pilgrims have reached the promised land, the happy country whose days are as the heavens upon earth. Angels visit it, celestial gales blow over it, flowers of paradise grow in it, and the air is filled with heavenly music. Some live here for years, and others only arrive only a few hours before the departure, but it is an Eden on earth. 我们常常焦虑地期待着自己渐渐变老，忘记了晚上的时候仍有光明。对于许多圣人来说，老年是他们生命中最美的季节。当随手接近不朽的海岸，一股温暖的微风抚摸着他的脸庞，轻轻的波
，挑选经验的成熟果实，并且收集起来，作为生命夜晚稀有的食物，灵魂为休息做准备。The Lord's people will also enjoy light the hour of death. Unbelief bemoans the evening shadows, the darkening night, the end of existence. But no, cries faith, the night is almost over. The true day is at hand. Light has come, the light of immortality, the light of the Father's countenance. Gather your feet up in the bed. See the waiting throng of angels ready to bear you away. Farewell, loved one. You are gone. You wave your hand. Now it is light. The pearly gates are open. The golden streets shine in the jasper light. We cover our eyes, but you behold the unseen. Adieu, good friend. You have light at evening time that we have not. 上帝的子民也在将死亡的时刻享受光明。没有信仰的人哀叹黄昏的阴影、夜晚的黑暗、生命的结束。但不，信心在呼喊，黑夜即将过去，真正的白昼即将来临，光已经到了，不朽的光，天赋面容的光。把你的脚放在床上，看到等待的一群天使准备带你离开，永别了所爱的人，你已经走了。你挥动你的手，现在天亮了。烛光宝气的大门打开了，金色的街道在碧玉般的灯光下闪闪发亮。我们遮住了自己的双眼，但你看到了看不见的东西。再见了，好朋友，你在傍晚时分拥有我们没有的光。Jesus said, "I am the light of the world." And the Gospel of John says the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. And Second Corinthians four six says, "For it is God who said, 'Let light shine out of darkness,' who has shone in the hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ." Jesus said, "I am the light of the world." John 福音说，光照在黑暗里，黑暗却不接受光。格林多后书四章说：“那吩咐光从黑暗里照出来的神，已经照在我们的心里，叫我们得知神荣耀的光，显在耶稣基督里，显在耶稣基督的面上。” We have the privilege of walking in the light, the light of God in Jesus Christ, and we are blessed each and every day. May the blessings of our time on earth be remembered with gratitude. And may our hearts and minds be open to the glorious future that our Lord God, the Lord Jesus Christ, has in store for all of us. We have the privilege of walking in the light. The light of God. 对主为我们准备的辉煌未来敞开，阿门，阿门。